Good morning, guys. How are you today? Fine. Today we will finish the extra sheet that is parameter. It's about parameter and we will correct our homework. Okay. I gave you on Tuesday a homework exercise five. Let's correct exercise five and then let's do the last question. Yeah. Calculate the parameter in each case. We will find the parameter of a square, rectangle, and circle. We have four lines. On the first line, always you have to, to write the rule, okay? Parameter of a square here, four times side or four times A. Here, the length of the side is 27, so we multiply four by 27. Let's arrange 27 times four. Four times seven, 28. Four times two equals eight plus two equals 10. So 108. Parameter of a rectangle, P equals two times length plus width. Okay, length here in this question equals how much equals nine. And the width equals how much equals seven. So first we will add nine plus seven. Nine plus seven equals how much equals 16. Then we multiply 16 by two, don't forget. So two steps, we add the length by the width, then we multiply it by two. 16 times two, two times six is 12, two times one, two plus one is three. So 32 centimeter. Now circle, we know that the parameter of a circle equals pi times the diameter. The pi is a constant number, never change 3.14. Diameter here equals 10. So we multiply 3.14 times 10. No need to arrange, skip the zero. 3.14 times 1, 314 times 1, 314. How many zeros do we have at the end? One zero. How many digits do we have after the point? Two digits. Start from the right side. One, two. So the point is written here, 31.40 centimeter. The last one, the same. The last one, the same. Uh, parameter of a circle, but now I gave you the radius equals three. So P equals pi times D. The pi here is 3.14. Now diameter, how much? Here I gave you the radius, it's the radius. So I can't say 3.14 times three. We must find the diameter first. Diameter who we double the radius. Three times two equals six. So I multiply 3.14 by six, not by three. Some students will say two times pi times r. So they will write two times 3.14 times three. It's the same answer, it's correct. Let's arrange times six. Six times four, 24. Six times one, six plus two, eight. Six times three, 18. Then count two digits. So 18.84 centimeter. Okay, so just you have to concentrate and write the rules and then calculate. The last one, find the parameter of the following figure. What is this shape? It's a circle. So we will find now the parameter of a circle. What is the parameter of a circle? Pi times the diameter equals 3.14 times the diameter. Type. We must, we must find the diameter. Type. This segment, this is a circle of center A. Type. This is the this is the circle of center A. Hide the segment who starts from A ends with a point on a circle starts from the center. We call it what the segment? We call it radius. Okay. Let's use a ruler now. Each one alone, please use a ruler and measure the length of the segment. If you measure it, it will be three centimeter. Okay. So use a ruler and measure the segment. It's a three. But we need to measure the diameter, not the radius. So you can draw the diameter, complete it. It's all of it, it will be a diameter. If you measure it all, it will be six. Okay, this is the diameter that passes through the center, divides the circle into equal parts. Or you can measure it just the radius, the whole three, then multiply it by two, it will be six. So diameter six. Because the diameter, we double the radius. So we multiply 3.14 by six. Six times four, 24. Six times one, six plus two, eight. Six times three, 18. So 18.84 18 centimeter. Okay? 
So, هاي ده هو ال radius because it starts from the center ends with a point on a circle. Radius measures three. Diameter هو double the radius, so it will be six. Okay. Thank you guys. See you after the holiday. Bye bye.